Hi nurses, we're back and we're going to talk today about the new nurse and diabetic teaching. Now, this is a new nurse. His name is uh, Tim. He needs help with giving information, correct information of course, about diabetic teaching and misconceptions. Needless to say, as a nurse, you've probably heard all kinds of different theories about people, about how they got diabetes and what they ought to be doing. But the important thing is to be sure you give them good guidance because remember, diabetes is quite a very long uh, and drawn out illness and can lead to other complications. Here is a patient who's saying, thinking, I hate to exercise and watch everything I eat. Medicine is advanced today and there must be a pill I can take. Well, that's really not complete. So let's help Josh first of all with the misconceptions and where someone can find correct information which would be very helpful. Here are some of the misconceptions in addition to this one that patients have about diabetes. Here's a patient thinking, I hate to exercise and I do not have a weight problem anyway. Wrong thinking. There's more to it than that. My doctor talks about calorie control. I can add a few more units of insulin and have my sugar added my sugar under control. Wrong thinking. There's a lot more to diabetes than just balancing insulin and fat ice creams. And then here's somebody else saying, I hate, I fail to see what high sugar has to do with eyesight. I need new glasses. Well, needless to say that uh, when everything starts to fall apart with diabetes, some people's visions become very compromised. Well, in just in case you're one of those people who does, do not have the answer to these questions, I'm going to guide you to uh, dearnurses.com because we have endless topics on diabetes, diabetes and diabetic teaching. Uh, there is one more uh, misconception, and here it is again here, that this patient is saying, Mom and my brother take shots for diabetes, wonder when my turn is coming. Well, it's not exactly a turn thing. It's about being educated and knowing the right thing so that you can avoid making the same mistake. So if you would go to dearnurses.com, diabetes for the lay person is extremely helpful. And of course, at the very bottom, there's a wonderful little case study about this patient you're seeing here at the very bottom, who finally winds up with an amputation because of self wood and refuses to take instructions. And I hope you enjoy learning. Have a nice day.